Meanwhile, as tensions mount in Europe, NATO allies seem divided on the question of military aid to Ukraine. While the U.S. rejected Poland's suggestion to send fighter jets to Ukraine via U.S. air base in Germany, America has now deployed two air defense units to Poland to bolster its defense system. A Pentagon official confirmed the U.S. has sent two Patriot surface-to-air missile batteries, which have now been repositioned from Germany to Poland adding that this move has been undertaken to help secure the NATO alliance territory against any potential threat and has also been undertaken after Poland's invitation. The U.S. Army Patriot surface-to-air missile defense system is capable of countering and destroying ballistic missiles, cruise missiles or aircraft. A Pentagon official did not confirm the area where these batteries were now posted, but he did assure that the missiles have been sent only as a defense deployment. While the Pentagon refrained from specifying their operational status, it did not confirm, it did confirm at this point that the missiles were manned and experts are now assessing the move as reflecting a growing fear that a Russian missile could deliberately or not cross the border from neighboring Ukraine into NATO member Poland. Nuclear tensions also remain as some concerns that Russian president may escalate the war further. Remember, Putin had put his nuclear forces on heightened alert a few days ago although U.S. officials detected no threatening changes in Russia's nuclear posture. The whole backdrop to this uh, relationship with Ukraine at the moment in terms of assisting them is that keeping in mind ways to avoid having the war spill over uh, into any of the neighboring countries, some of which are NATO countries. And if that were to happen, of course, then you would have a war of NATO against Russia, and um, the implication there is that it could potentially escalate to a nuclear war. Nobody wants that. Now, the deployment comes the day after America rejected Polish proposal to send fighter jets to Ukraine, alleging that the proposal raised serious concerns for NATO. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris is now in Poland, showcasing Washington's claims that the U.S. ties with NATO ally Poland still remain strong despite the dispute over arming Ukraine with warplanes. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.